Welcome to this technician tutorial on how to load images using U-Boot's UMS command. I'm John Weber. There are a few ways that onboard EMMC can be loaded. If you are starting from a blank EMMC or have somehow corrupted the contents of the EMMC and want to start from a known good baseline, you can use UUU and we've covered this in other tutorials. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to load an EMMC using U-Boot's UMS command. This can be a very nice command to use because it doesn't require any changes to the boot configuration. You simply launch the UMS command pointing it to the correct USB bus and EMMC device number and this exports the entire EMMC to a host computer over USB OTG as a mass storage device just like a flash drive. Also, because U-Boot runs out of RAM, you can overwrite the entire EMMC with it just like you can with UUU. Your host computer then writes to the device using any number of utilities depending on the host. And there are some third-party utilities that are also very nice to use. You can load using the off-the-shelf software instead of special loading programs such as UUU. For this tutorial, I'll be using Linux and loading using a common program, DD. And then I'll show you how to use a nice third-party tool from Belena called Etcher. Let's get started. To use UMS, you first have to boot into the U-Boot prompt, so let's go ahead and do that now. We have a board here, which is a Pico IMX 8M Mini that is currently running Ubuntu, and I'll use UMS to load our Technection software loader image into the board. I'll first need to connect the serial terminal up in order to access the U-Boot prompt, so I'll go ahead and do that now. I can do that by connecting up this micro USB connector into this connector on the Pico Pi board. We have an onboard USB to UART chip that provides the serial ports to this micro USB interface. So we're gonna go ahead and start up a serial terminal now. I'll use the screen program, screen, and my device is slash dev slash TTY USB zero, and I need to give it a baud rate. And I'll also need to make it uh, run as root. So I'll run sudo in front of that. I'll need to type in my password and I should have a login prompt here. Yeah, so this is the login prompt of Ubuntu. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, access that real quick. I'm just gonna log in as Ubuntu, which is the default user. And then I'm gonna run sudo reboot. And it's going ahead and rebooting. And you can get into the U-boot prompt by hitting the enter key when you see this hit any key and stop auto boot uh, text on the screen. The first thing we need to do is we need to understand which devices are present. So I'll just do MMC list to list out the devices. This one uh, is the SD card device and you can see that the EMMC device is marked as EMMC. So we wanna load that up. So in order to do that, we'll just run UMS, the UMS command. UMS stands for USB mass storage, by the way. And I need to give it the USB device. Um, the USB OTG bus is uh, USB device zero. And MMC, and then I need to use the EMMC device, which is uh, device two. So I run that command. If we're successful, we'll see these volumes mounted here. This is uh, a 34 megabyte volume, which is the boot volume, and this is the root, root, uh, root file system volume. Um, so now we have that loaded up and that exported, so we're ready to start working now. Uh, and we're going to go through this process. First thing we need to do is we need to go ahead and unmount these drives. If they're automatically mounted, you need to make sure they're unmounted. So we're gonna run unmount, umount is the command, and we need to run that as root. You mount, and then you need to figure out which device this is. So in order to figure that out, I'm gonna go ahead and open another window here. I'm just gonna run the ls block command, lsblk, and that'll list out all the different block devices that I have mounted. Um, and what you'll see here is, here is my main drive. Um, here are a couple of virtual, a few virtual disks that I use. The, the SDE, which is about a 16 gigabyte disk, um, you can see here, uh, it has two different partitions. Um, this is the EMMC. So we're gonna go ahead, or the US, UMS exported device. The other thing you can do, I believe, is you can run a DF. You can see that this is another, so slash dev slash SDE. These, this shows the mounted drives. LS block shows you the different block devices that are available, whether they're mounted or not. 
So here we're gonna run that. We're gonna run U mount on slash dev slash SDE one and slash dev slash SDE two slash SDE one. Gotta type in my password. You can see that that uh, icon went away and then I need to do slash dev as SDE two. So you just need to make sure these volumes are unmounted. Um, then the next thing you need to do is we need to get the image that we're going to DD. So I know that the image here is on my desktop. So I'll go to the desktop directory. And this, if I go ahead and ls-l that, I'll see here, I've got two images. I'll just do ls-l because that way I don't need to see all the decoration or just ls. So I have these two files here. Uh, one of them is a big symbolic link because that's actually kind of a larger file. Um, we'll do that one here in a second. So uh, this one here, uh, is the file that we're going to go ahead and unpack. Uh, we have to unpack in order to use DD. Um, so uh, DD doesn't understand. If we just write this packed image to the MMC, uh, it won't uh, know how to boot it. So um, here we just need to unpack this. So we just do unxz tn-image. And when you use unxz, by default, it removes the archive that was there. So if I do ls here, we just see what was inside of the archive, which is this uh, .wic extension file. And that's what we need to write to the disk. So we're going to go ahead and do that now. Um, so we need to run sudo in front of dd. And I need to give it an input file equals tn -im image. All right. And then the next thing we need to do is give it an output file. The output file is the device that we're going to write, dev slash SDE, and I need to give it a block size, um, and that is gonna be one megabyte. And we just do that to make the writes as fast as possible. So if we go ahead and run this, oh, one other thing um, that is somewhat useful uh, is to say status equal progress. And if you're writing a large image, it's nice to be able to see that this is running. Otherwise, what happens is the command blocks and you don't get any you know, feedback. So here we go, go ahead and run that. And this is not a very large image, so it doesn't take very long to go through this process here. Right. So roughly 65 megabytes, 64 megabytes or so. Um, so that's done. And you can notice here that U-Boot is running in RAM, so you don't have to worry about essentially overwriting U-Boot while it's running, it's running out of RAM. So now I'm going to go ahead and exit out of UMS and I can be nice. I can either use the button here to reset the board or I can just run the reset command. So I'll go ahead and do that. And you can see that I'm booting right now. Life is good. Okay, so you can, if you're looking at the, at the, the screen here, we're booting this. Um, the image, the Technection Software Limit Loader image is a complete RAM disk based image. So it runs out of RAM, um, loads out of EMMC, but runs out of RAM so that the entire EMMC can be overwritten. So now you see the Technection Software Loader image running. And that's good for now. The next thing I wanted to show is how to use a really interesting tool um, that I, I find, um, and that is called Belena Etcher. Um, if you go to the Belena website to search for Belena Etcher, Belena Etcher, right there. So you can go here and you can grab this image. Uh, very, very smart. The website is, it detects what the host is and it gives you a prompt to download that. I've gone ahead and done this. Um, so I'm not going to worry about that. I just figured I'd show you this where you can go and get that, it's uh, belena.io slash etcher. So now that we have that, and I know where that is located, I can go ahead and run that. I'm just gonna run it in this prompt. So I'm gonna go tilde slash downloads, because I have it in my downloads directory, belena etcher app image. So I'm just gonna go ahead and run that. So when this runs, um, this is what you'll see. The first thing you have to do is identify the file that you wanna flash. And Etcher is pretty smart uh, in that it understands how to decode and decompress .xz files, as well as .bz2 files, as well as other compressed file formats. So I can go ahead and tell it that I want to 
uh, do this one. This is a full sized image right here. And then I need to select a target. So I don't have anything uh, to write to yet because I'm going to go through here and I'm going to go ahead and reboot and get back into the U-boot prompt. So we're here and reboot. We have UMS enabled in this. So one second. All right. So now I'm back in the U-boot prompt um, and I need to find the device I'm going to use. Uh, you guys are going to notice a little bit of a quirk here that is interesting. In the Technection software loader right now, the EMMC device is a different device number. So if I type in MMC list, you can see the EMMC device is device one. Um, and we did this because in an earlier version of U-Boot, which is what is running in the Technection software loader image, this was the device that we were using for EMMC. And, and in the later version of U-Boot, we're not using that device, we're using device two. So either way, it's the same exact device. It's just a different index number in U-Boot. So we're gonna go ahead and just say UMS zero MMC. And this is going to be one this time. There we go. So now that is going to all right, show up here. Life is good. So now we need to go ahead and select the target. We can see that we have this target here. And it is indeed slash dev slash SDE, the same thing. We run select and we hit flash and we have to type in the password because we want to be safe. So now first thing it's going to do is it's going to go through the process of decompressing this image. And then it's going to go through the process of actually writing the image to the EMMC. This can take some time depending on the size of the image. So I don't want to take all that time here, but once this is done, you can reboot the board and it'll be running your new image. Etcher is a nice tool for loading images and that runs on Linux and Windows and Mac OS. And honestly, it's my default go-to tool when loading images in development. All right, so that's all I have for this session. Uh, thanks for your attention. Stay tuned and subscribe for additional Technician tutorials. I'm John Weber, see you next time.